Tonight's Fox Focus, we're hearing a lot more about 3D these days, from movies to actual TV sets. But you won't need a pair of 3D glasses to benefit what, from what promises to be the biggest impact of the 3D movement. As Fox 23's Mark Baker shows us now, everyday items are actually being made with what they call these 3D printers. It's going to change the world. This is a 3D printer. This particular one, made by Stratasys, is about the size of a soda machine and uses molten plastic to make prototypes. In this case, a latch that will be used on boats. Businesses love it because they can easily make any adjustments before going to production, saving them time and money. Consumers benefit too. It's the changes that take place at a much faster interval of time. Time to market, bigger, better, faster, cheaper. The process, called additive manufacturing, is also great for the environment because there's no waste. So I'm, I'm using 99.9% .9 of the material uh, without throwing anything away. But it's not just for making prototypes anymore, but actual finished products too. To get a better idea of how this works, take your basic printer. It uses ink to print on a piece of paper in a tray. Some 3D printers will use materials, resins, plastics, or metals, and based on the blueprint you send it, print out the product layer by layer with the tray dropping by a fraction of a millimeter each time to add the third dimension. The products are easily customized and the opportunities appear endless. This is a monkey brain scanner. You can build even more obscure products. Jay Leno had trouble finding a part for one of his vintage cars. No problem. He turned to a 3D printer. One guy is making a whole car. But you can also make everyday items such as jewelry, this pair of shoes, and these articles of clothing. Want to get more adventurous? Have the musical instrument made. How about just having fun? and making an action figure. Yoda is just strictly a um, part showing some detail as far as the type of quality that you can reach. Seem far-fetched? Some 3D printers are no more expensive than laser printers were in the mid-80s. Some entrepreneurs already had them in their homes. And they've create, gone this far from you know, maybe just design services to people having them in their basements or in their garage. One day we could see these systems in households around the United States. Or there could be a store down the street with different types and sizes of printers where you'll place your order to your specifications. That will become more likely when the 3D printers are able to work with a wider variety of materials. One thing's for sure, 3D printing is going to add another dimension to your life. Mark Baker, Fox 23 News. And Mark tells us one of the most mm. promising areas for 3D printing is in the medical world. Dentists are already using them to make crowns. Uh, health experts say 3D printers help to maximize accuracy during the surgeries, even in the complicated operations like an organ transplant. Neat stuff. It's amazing. Well.